Welcome to the Tech Talks Daily Podcast, where you can learn and be inspired by real-world examples of how technology is transforming businesses and reshaping industries in a language everyone can understand. Here is your host, Neil C. Hughes. Welcome back to the Tech Talks Daily Podcast, and I hope you're all doing okay and coping out there in these crazy times, no matter where you're listening to me in the world. But a genuine thank you for me, for sharing your time with me and for helping keep me sane throughout it all. I really don't think you realise just how much I appreciate each and every one of you for tuning into this podcast every day. And like I said a couple of episodes ago, I do have a big map on my wall with pins in it where everybody listens. So please send me details of where you listen and I can add you to my world map. And you can do that by just emailing me at techblogwriter at outlook.com. Now, today I want to talk about how the IT organisation in general is under more pressure and scrutiny than ever before. And in addition to ensuring security, there is also a strong argument in favour of modernising enterprise infrastructure, especially with more and more people working from home. And on that topic, trusted by leading managed service providers, I came across Airgap's patent pending enterprise grade agentless zero isolation platform. Try to say that after a few beers, but it addresses some of the fundamental security and networking challenges faced by IT organizations the world over. And today I want to learn a little bit more about exactly what all that means and how they're actually helping businesses. So buckle up and hold on tight so I can beam your ears all the way to California so we can speak with Rick Ritesh. Agrawal, CEO and founder of Airgap Network. So a massive warm welcome to the show, Ritesh. Can you tell the listeners a little about who you are and what you do? Hi, Neil. My name is Ritesh. I am the founder CEO of a company called Airgap Networks. And we are a cybersecurity company which is uh, producing a groundbreaking solution to help our customers, typically enterprises, protect themselves from ransomware attacks. And they are those the the risks of those threats are huge right now, especially with so many people working from home. And the world, the world order has changed overnight. And the IT organisation, of course, is under more pressure and scrutiny than before. So, before we talk about your solution and the, how you're leveraging tech to protect businesses, could you possibly set the scene and tell the listeners a little bit more about the the level of pressure and focus that um, IT have got on it right now? So, Neil, as you know, we have seen this time and again, whenever there is economic depression, there is an increase in cyber threats. Uh, it's just natural. Also, cryptocurrency, which provides a perfect way to hide an identity, is turning out to be a, a, a great solution for hackers. Now they can demand ransom and know that they are protected behind the cryptocurrency secrecy, so to speak. So this is creating a perfect storm. And of course, the IT guys are facing the brunt. To top it off, a couple of fundamental flaws in the enterprise architecture, that is the reason behind increased level of threats and attacks. And I think if we fix those, uh, I suspect that we would see dramatic reduction in, in enterprise breaches. That's what AirGap is uh, here to do. And it often feels like IT are caught between a rock and a hard place, and they can't win no matter what they do, because especially for cash-strapped IT departments right now, how can they achieve that balance of ensuring security while also meeting those demands to modernize the enterprise infrastructure? Because it, it is such a fine balance, isn't it? You are absolutely right. And I think the reason behind um, trying to create a balance is there is a imbalance in the way the investment is made in terms of IT protection. Like I said, there are a couple of fundamental flaws that are not being addressed by the IT organization. If they were to address those, I suspect that the amount of attacks will come down. So you just need to balance your investment and that's missing at this uh, at this day and age. AirGap can, can make that happen for the enterprises. So with that scene perfectly set, can you tell me a little bit more about AirGap's patented pending enterprise-grade agentless zero-trust isolation platform, which is a bit of a mouthful, but it, it, it really does address some of those fundamental security and networking challenges that are faced by IT organizations, not just 
over there in the US where you're talking to me from, but here in the UK and indeed where everybody's listening to this podcast all over the world. Everyone's fighting that same challenge, aren't they? As long as you're digitizing your enterprise infrastructure, you are likely facing the ransomware threat. The Forbes study just came out that suggested that 51% of the organizations have been impacted with ransomware just in the last 12 months. And I suspect that number is somewhat deflated. In reality, the numbers are bigger because not everybody's going to admit that they've been impacted with ransomware. So clearly, this is the biggest pandemic when it comes to digital uh, security out there. And, and it impacts all of us. We have seen and heard last week that a couple of patients in Germany died because the hospital was under ransomware attack and the patients were being moved from one hospital to another hospital. So now we're not just talking about financial loss. We're talking about loss of life because of ransomware. Last week, also, a school in Las Vegas refused to pay the ransom, and the hackers actually exposed student information to the public internet. So, of course, they're merciless right now, and we need to make sure that we are protecting ourselves better. Talking about air gap, look, you probably, uh, as an enterprise IT organization, you probably talk to a lot of security companies that are trying to prevent the ransomware from getting into your network. And, and I call this as protecting the first patient sort of investment. But AirGap Zero Trust Isolation Platform is focusing on the fact that what happens once your enterprise network is breached. So let's say you're an IT head and you're managing 10,000 endpoints. This could, could be Macs and Windows and Linux and Android and iOS and, and your TVs and your cameras and, and your thermostats and your refrigerators and, and plethora of other devices you can be sure that one of them is at least infected. The problem is, if one of them is infected, that one device has the potential to infect every other device, given the fundamental flaws that we have in the enterprise architecture, namely called VLAN or virtual LAN. Anybody can talk to anybody. So once the threat is inside, it can talk to other devices and potentially infect other devices. AirGap protects against that. The second thing that AirGap does, which is very clever, is if you are under ransomware attack, let's assume that that's the case, what would be the reaction from an IT organization? Today, I hear, I talk to many CIOs and I hear a very simple sort of answers. Number one is start shutting down the systems. And it's like, really, you cannot, if you're managing healthcare facility, if you're managing manufacturing facility, if you're managing, managing any mission critical facility, you really can't afford to shut down the systems. The second popular answer I hear is, let's start yanking cables. And it's like, really, if you're managing a large organization, do you really know which cables to yank and how long will it take for you to yank them out and then yank them back in? And the third uh, answer I get from CIOs typically is, uh, on a funny note, is let's start updating the resume. And I come with AirGap, uh, um, with AirGap as a solution, what we have built is built a ransomware kill switch. And as the name suggests, all you do is if you, think that you're under attack from ransomware, all you do is flip the switch on and it will protect ransomware from propagating to your business systems and from prop propagating to other computers or devices within your network. And you will continue to operate your business as normal. So your employees can connect to you, the network, they can connect to internet, they can connect to the emails and Slack and WhatsApp. They can do their business as usual, but ransomware cannot propagate. This is fundamentally um, innovative and groundbreaking from an enterprise IT perspective, because for them, this is a solution that they've been looking for. And there will be some people listening that have maybe flirted with the idea of looking into a, a zero trust solution, but have thought it was too much hassle or it's kind of upend uh, the, their current infrastructure and, and all the kind of problems that, that that it could create in, in changing things. But can you walk me through how it works or how easy it is for business leaders to, to get set up and add that extra layer of protection w without the hassle or, or is that inevitable? Yeah, that's a good, uh, good question. And this is common. I've done this um, for 10 years. I've been managing security business for a large organization, my previous employer and $400 million uh, in revenue, essentially. And I've sold to very large companies and, and small companies alike. And I've understood the pain in terms of deploying any new security appliance. And that's when, that's why when I built AirGap, I wanted to make sure that it's the easiest thing you do. And as a result, we ensure that AirGap can be deployed in less than 30 minutes or the product is free. Uh, so we have that much confidence in, in, 
the simplicity of air gap deployment. In addition to that, we ensure that you don't have to replace anything that you have invested in already. So you protect your investment. Third thing is there are no agents to be deployed, which is obviously not possible when you're looking at corporate environment protection. You have devices like thermostat TV and Apple watches. You really can't put agents on those and protect those with, uh, with sort of traditional agent-based deployment. And the final thing is we don't expect our customers to wholesale migrate everything to air gap. They can migrate five users or five devices or 50 devices or 500 devices at a time until they are satisfied and continue to grow the migration. So really, uh, we've not heard uh, uh, that you can have your cake and eat it too, but that's <laughs> really what AirGap is doing, is providing you that simple integration, simple installation, and easy migration, that do step-by-step at your own convenience. That's incredibly cool, especially as the XIT guy. That even though I've left that world behind, I still often worry about how many of these IoT devices that people are bringing onto corporate networks that you can't put those agents on that are bringing in vulnerabilities. So the fact that you can do all that and protect a network within within thirty minutes is phenomenal. But apart from that, is there anything else that you would say that uh, separates AirGap from other competitors and solutions out there? Yeah, let you think. So first of all, ransomware kill switch. I think that is really, really cool and nobody else has it. And I think every organization must have it. Much like a gas station, when you go there, you have this emergency shut off wall. And, you know, someday it'll be a lifesaver. Instead of blowing four blocks radius, you will probably blow 100 square feet. Um, so that's definitely necessary. And AirGap is the only company that offers it and can offer it. Um, second thing I would say about AirGap is the simplicity of its deployment. Uh, it's not done before. And final, uh, which is the most important thing is, or, or two things are, number one, we are being tested and validated by large managed services providers, actually top five managed services providers. We are being validated by Fortune 100 companies, including some large banks that are household names, uh, Fortune 100 companies that are large manufacturing companies and small companies as well. we are being tested by all of them. And the technology that we have built and deployed uh, for our customers is actually based on mobile telco technology, which both of us know is very, very scalable technology. Smallest of the telco carrier or mobile carrier is larger than the largest of the enterprise. And I was fortunate enough to build solutions for telcos all my career. So I know exactly how that works. And so does my co-founders and rest of our team. And we have leveraged all of that t- talent and experience to build air gaps. So it's very scalable, it's very simple, uh, and it provides the solution that you're looking for. I think that's all that matters to our customers. So I've got to ask, I mean, what is your grand vision for air gap? Because it does seem that you're on quite a mission here. So I'm, I'm kind of curious where you see, see this heading. Yeah, so our mission is really to protect the enterprise uh, from, from malware and ransomware, essentially. And there are companies that are doing that. Um, so there are two ways to think about security. And this is really important for our audience to understand. There is protection of your endpoints, whether it is your device like a MacBook or a Windows machine, or it's your server. And there is a protection needed from the big bad internet. And there are hundreds of companies that are in this space. So the likes of Palo Alto Network, Zscaler, Cisco, Checkpoint, Fortinet, uh, and many more. And, and we actually complement all of them. We actually uh, recommend customer buy one of these solutions that they've been buying all along. Even the endpoint protection solution like Silence or, or Carbon Black or CrowdStrike, et cetera. What AirGap does is assume that your device is now infected, one of the devices. So you can leave all of the solutions that I talked about on one side and now start thinking about, assume one of the devices is infected. And this device could be infected because of many reasons. It could be bad hardware, it could be a bad Wi-Fi network that you connected to, it could be bad URL that you clicked on or bad email that you got, and many more techniques that the hackers use. Once you are infected, then I suspect that many of the solutions that exist today don't help you out. This ransomware or malware, once inside your organization, is spreading rapidly, especially as as users are working from home. AirGap comes into play there. And so our vision really is to provide protection once the ransomware has made inside your organization and complement all of the security companies and vendors out there today. 
And I appreciate there's probably not too much you can share on this, but is there anything on your roadmap that will just help listeners understand how you're going to bring that vision to life? Yeah. Um, in terms of in, uh, the good news is the roadmap is here. We've yeah. pretty much done in terms of our product development. We're enhancing it based on customer feedback and we've been doing it for last six months, actually. The product development started in March of last year. So it's been 18 plus months since we've been developing the product as of now. Out of that, about six to nine months have been spent in just incorporating customer feedback. So I would say the product is ready and it's ready for large banks and large MSPs as well as small customers. Um, And now we are sort of continuing to enhance based on the customer feedback. In terms of the roadmap itself, we have obviously a lot of things in in mind that we want to develop and, and deploy. Essentially, we are building a zero trust cloud, if I may. And you can hook up your devices, you can hook up your servers, you can hook up your applications to the Zero Trust Cloud and be sure that that you're protected from ransomware no matter what. Incredibly cool. And, of, of course, it's been well documented how <laughs> turbulent 2020 has been, let's say. But to end on a positive note, is there anything that makes you feel hopeful and maybe even positive about 2021 and, and leave us on that positive note today? I am always the guy who looks for the positive in everything <laughs> in life. And one thing that I can tell you, how much worse can it get? We've seen everything we have to see, and there's only only upside from here. So hang in there. Uh, the good times are right around the corner. In terms of COVID, I hope the vaccines and and uh, and sort of remedy remedy solutions are available sooner. Uh, I know our scientists are working hard on this one, and I, I hope the solution is right around the corner. But uh, but it can't get any worse. Hang in there. Stay protected. Be well. That's all I can recommend all my audience. Fantastic advice. And before I do let you go, though, for anyone that wants to find out more information about AirGap and the work that you're doing there, what's the, what's the best way of finding you online and, and even contacting your team if they've got any questions? Absolutely. Um, I can, I'm the CEO founder of AirGap. You can go visit us at airgap.io so just go to www.airgap.io or send me an email i am uh, always available to answer questions for 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 our audience at ritesh at airgap.io r-i-t-e-s-h at airgap.io that's my personal email if you send me an email i'll be able to respond well, thank you so much for joining me today. And like we said at the very beginning of this podcast, IT organizations all over the world are under so much pressure and scrutiny than ever before and kind of caught between that rock and a hard place between securing everything and modernizing the infrastructure. And like you said in the interview there, you can have your cake and eat it. And a lot of people might think you can't, but you've kind of proved that you can today. So more than anything, thank you for highlighting that and spending a bit of time with me today. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me, Neil. Really enjoyed talking to you. An agentless zero trust platform that addresses some of the fundamental security and network challenges faced by IT organizations certainly feels incredibly cool to me. But for any security experts that are listening out there, I'd love to hear your opinions, not only on AirGap and our discussion today, but also on the zero trust isolation concept that is growing in popularity right now. So you've heard me talk, you've heard today's guest talk, now over to you. Email me, techblogwriter at outlook.com. My website is techblogwriter.co.uk. If you've got any queries, questions, or you want to work with me, whatever it might be, just let me know. Other than that, it's time for me to walk off into the sunset once again, but I'll speak to you all again tomorrow. So thank you for listening, and until next time... Don't be a stranger. Thank you for listening to the Tech Talks Daily Podcast with Neil C. Hughes. Remember, technology works best when it brings people together.